वेलकम टू अवर चैनल इफ यू नॉट सब्सक्राइब टू अवर चैनल प्लीज क्लिक ऑन द सब्सक्राइब आइक ऑन टू गेट सब्सक्राइब टू अवर चैनल एंड क्लिक ऑन द बेल बटन टू गेट नोटिफाइड अबाउट लेटेस्ट वीडियोस टुडे इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द बायोलॉजिकल टर्म्स व्हिच आर वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर अंडरस्टैंडिंग एनी बायोलॉजिकल टेक्स्ट विद प्रॉपर मीनिंग एंड टुडे इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट दीस 13 बायोलॉजिकल टर्म्स with proper examples and pictures depicting these examples so watch this video till the end for better understanding first of all we have the biological terms dorsal and ventral these two biological terms are opposite to each other in meaning if you see dorsal means upper side and ventral means under side which is opposite to each other now let us see this two biological terms with an example consider my body lying down in the ground in such a way that my nose touches the ground so in that condition this part of my body will be the underside and this part of my body that is the back side of my body will be the upper side so this side is my dorsal side and this side is my ventral side for better understanding let us consider a dog in standing position in standing position the upper side of the dog is the dorsal side and the underside under the abdomen that side is called the ventral side so now we are clear with what is dorsal and ventral now let us discuss about anterior and posterior what is anterior and what is posterior first of all these two biological terms are opposite to in meaning to each other anterior means near the front or near the head or fore part posterior means further back in position or near the hind part let us see an example consider our tongue our tongue is divided into two parts by a furrow called as sulcus terminalis it divides our tongue into two parts that is the anterior part and the posterior part the part of the tongue towards the opening of our mouth that is the front part is called the anterior part and the part of the tongue which is towards the pharynx is called the posterior part so now we are clear with what is anterior and what is posterior next we have the terms transverse section and lateral section so what is transverse section section means separating or dividing something so when we use a plane to separate an organism if we are putting that plane in such a way that the plane makes 90 degree or perpendicular to the longest axis of that particular organism it is called as a transverse section let us see an example consider an organism and mythical organism hypothetical organism and this is the longest axis of that particular organism now i am cutting this organism with a plane transversely so this is the transverse section this plane is making 90 degree with this longest axis so this is the transverse section and lateral section means sideways cutting or cutting the organism in such a way that the cutting plane is parallel to the longest axis of the organism so this is a lateral section this is a lateral section this is also a lateral section you can see the image of the transverse and lateral section in the screen now let us discuss about hydrophobic and hydrophilic hydrophilic means water lovers and hydrophobic means water haters in simple so hydrophilic molecules are the molecules which can react with or interact with water molecules more easily and hydrophobic molecules are the molecules which cannot interact or react with the water molecules easily for example if you see lipids are hydrophobic molecules and the hydrophilic examples are mostly polar molecules or hydrophilic molecules why these hydrophobic molecules are not able to react or interact with the water molecules because nature favors only energy favorable reaction that is spontaneous reactions if you see the interaction between the hydrophobic molecule and the water molecule is an energy unfavorable reaction that is we must provide some external energy in order to make this interaction or reaction possible let us see an example take a beaker with water pour some oil in that beaker if you see the oil and the water will be standing separate initially now let us consider the beaker is heated to some extent you can see that the blending of oil and the water will be happening to some extent but not completely 
This shows that by providing external energy, we can make the interaction or reaction between hydrophobic molecules and water molecules possible to some extent. Next, we have the proximal and distal. Proximal means near the center and distal means away from the center. You can also put it in this way. Proximal means near the starting point and distal means away from the starting point. Let us see an example. Take nephron of kidney, the functional unit of kidney, nephron as an example. It consists of proximal convoluted tubule and distal convoluted tubule. The proximal convoluted tubule is present near the starting point, that is the glomerulus. So only it is called as the proximal convoluted tubule. And the distal convoluted tubule is present away from the starting point, that is glomerulus. So only it is, that is glomerulus. So only it is called as distal convoluted tubule. So now we are clear with what is proximal and distal. Finally, we have the alpha, beta, gamma and delta. These are nothing but Greek alphabets used to mark the position of groups attached to carbon atoms. So now we are clear with all the 13 biological terms which are important for understanding the biology more easily. So that's all for today's video. If you like the video, please subscribe to our channel and click on the bell button. That's all for today's video. See you later.